What's going on, guys? Uh, we are back at it with another NBA prop first look video for Saturday, December 30th. I don't get it. Tyus Jones over 15, or 18 and a half points and assists, hooked on 18. DeAnthony Melton over 22 and a half PRA, no Joel Embiid. He already got ruled out the next two games, ends up at 20. Barely did anything in the first half and started to like step it up in the second half, but it wasn't enough. And I almost took Tyrese Maxey over, I think it was like 36 or something, 35 and a half points and assist. Didn't even need the assist. He dropped 42. I actually, I have it written down. I crossed it out, but freaking. I had it written down, 34 and a half points and assist. And then I said, like, screw it. Like, Maxi is one of those, Maxi is one of those guys that helps me so much because I always bet him for him to do really good. And then next thing you know, he just doesn't do anything the whole game or he gets in foul trouble or he's shooting 12 threes a game and makes one of them. So I was kind of like, you know what, we're going to get a little different. We're going to go with Milton. Just had to get that out. So like I always say, uh, you can tell I'm prize pick, sleeper, underdog, parlay play. You can bet them straight on the sports books, parlay them on the sports books, whatever you want to do. I'm going to build out a two-leg parlay card. So, so the first prop we're going to go with is Larry Marketing over 34 and a half PRA. Miami gives up an average of 23 points, seven rebounds, and five assists to opposing forwards. I also saw that they give up an average of two and a half threes against opposing forwards, and Lowry's a guy that can shoot a bunch of threes. If he gets hot, he's still going to chuck them up regardless, but if he gets hot, he's going to make a bunch of them. Um, he's kind of one of the main guys. I know Sexton's been having a good year. Um Jordan Clarkson's been coming off the bench. I knew he had a, I think it was a hamstring issue, and he was out for a little bit, but they need to give Lowry the ball. He's going to shoot a lot. He's going to make some big plays. <clears throat> and, you know, Miami's defense isn't a joke, but the numbers are too good against um, forwards for me to pass this up. I I was debating about it still, but I think this is too good of a number to get away from. So we're going to go with Lowry. Uh, you know what? I always forget to do this and it annoys the crap out of me. I didn't even have it set up. So let's just check his rotation for last game and then I'll pull up uh, the other one. So marketing. You know, place of the 624 mark gets subbed out for a bit. From 310 all the way to 616 of the second quarter, he plays, then finishes off the second quarter. This is obviously the last game against um, their last game against the Pelicans. But then starts off the third quarter. So from 252 to 637, it seems like what they really do is they give him a long break here and it seems like that you know they give him a little break in between and then put him back on the courts let him start the next quarter my alexa just went off i don't know if y'all heard that but but then he played the whole fourth quarter so if it's a good game and the game stays close he's gonna play i have it i didn't even write down spreads or over-unders or anything. Let me look for that really quick. Uh, Jazz are one and a half point underdogs and the over-under is 227. Like I said, if the game stays close, I think that this would be a good spot for him. Sorry, I'm just writing this stuff down for the next game. Um, I think the game will be pretty close. Um, like I said, if he keeps shooting at a high volume 
and um if he shoots at a high value makes a couple good shots gets some boards dishes the ball a little bit obviously the main thing is going to be him scoring but i think that this is a good prop next prop we're going to go with carl anthony towns over eight and a half rebounds <clears throat> Lakers give up an average of nine and a half to opposing forwards, uh, power forwards. Usually, Gobert starts at the center. I don't really know too much, but we can check here, actually. So, what am I doing? So, this is kind of a bad example, just considering that the game was a blowout, but I mean, we kind of see the rotations here where he plays at the 425 mark, finishes off the quarter here. So from 236 all the way to 810 of the second quarter he plays. <clears throat> you know, this is kind of a bad example. Let me look at a different game maybe. All right, let's do a win where it was kind of a sounding win. Did he not play in this game? What am I doing? You know what? Let's do the last game against the Lakers that they won. This might be better. All right, so he played up to the 431 mark, got a little bit of a break. 228 mark of the first quarter played up until seven minutes and then closed out the end of the first half from 243 so he played from 243 to 457 here i was gonna say something else seems like in the fourth quarter he got there a little more with a little bit more production but i mean you know the rebounds will be there um played 30 three minutes yep 33 minutes um i believe the center position was 15 and a half rebounds so i mean there's going to be some times where um you know gobert won't be on the floor and then he's going to play the five truth be told one of the things i'm kind of hoping for in this game is that the Lakers aren't going to box out and give up a couple offensive rebounds to him. And then that way, that'll be a little better. I also feel like in these videos, I worry too much about PRA, points and assists, points and rebounds. So we're just going to go with a simple prop of rebounds. So we'll just go with that. Um, Minnesota are actually four-point favorites with an over-under of 225 as well. So... Lowry over 34 and a half PRA, Carl Anthony Towns over eight and a half rebounds. We'll lock that in at 10 bucks. And that'll do it. So just reiterate if you want to tail on prize pick, sleeper, underdog, parlay play, you can bet them straight on the sports books or, um, you know, bet them straight on the sports books, parlay them on the sports books, whatever you want, whatever you're most comfortable with. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you guys in the next video.